The goal of this video is to show you how to get ready for the FRQ portion of this year's AP Bio exam. So let's do AP Bio Review. I'm Glenn Wolkenfeld. I teach AP Bio. I'm the creator of learn-biology.com, the AP Bio website, and Biomania, the AP Bio app. At this point in the year, you've probably responded to many FRQs, but I'm going to start with an obvious point. Read the prompt and respond to all parts of the question. Here's an example from page 208 of the College Board's course and exam description for AP Bio. I put a link to that document below. In the question, you're asked to do four things. How do you know? The College Board has made it very easy by putting what they call task verbs in bold text. These task verbs tell you what to do. So in this question, you have to describe in Part A, then explain in Part B, then indicate using a template in Part C, and then explain in Part D. For the past three years, I've been part of a huge team of teachers that scores the FRQs on the AP Bio exams. One of the biggest ways that students lose points is by not responding to all parts of the question. Now, let's talk about how and what to practice. Because this is going to involve writing, you should set up a journal. If you're taking the test electronically, then practice typing it. If you're taking the test on paper, then practice writing by hand. In terms of what to practice, the best resources to use are the materials provided on the College Board's website. The link is below, and you can find dozens of FRQs from previous years. Just remember that the course was redesigned in 2019, and questions related to two topics, the immune system and the nervous system, will not be on this year's test. On my website, learn-biology.com, I have over 100 short practice FRQs. I also have over 300 flashcards, which are a perfect way to study for both the FRQ and multiple choice portions of the exam. I'm going to use the practice FRQs on learn-biology.com as an example. Take a minute and read this question. Start by thinking about what the question is asking you to do. Don't write out your answer yet. Click pause until you're ready to continue. The question is asking you to do three things, even though it's a two-part question. Predict, justify your prediction, and then in part two you're asked, how would this mutation affect differentiation of the R7 cell type? That's essentially another prediction. Now, pause the video again and type out your answer. Make sure you've covered all parts of the question, and when you're done, hit play. Now, slowly read the answer and compare it to what you wrote. If you got it right, really right, then pat yourself on the back and click got it. But if you didn't, then reread the answer. Think it through. When you're done with thinking it through, click need more practice. The way that button works is that it tells Biomania to give you that question again later in the study session. When you see it again, Write it out again as if you're seeing it for the first time and see if you can come up with a more complete answer. That's it. Slow down and take in the feedback. When you do the FRQs that are on the College Board's website, use the same technique that I just modeled. Look at the question, write the answer, and then evaluate it using the scoring guide that they've provided. Take in the feedback. Come back to it later and do it again. You're practicing just like you would be practicing for a sport. Here are a couple of more FRQ-specific writing tips. First, as you try to explain something, don't worry if you can't think of a specific term. Just explain it without the term. For example, if you forget the term diffusion, but you said movement of molecules from higher to lower concentration, you'd probably be fine. Second, if you're asked for a specific example, then be specific. Don't say organism when you could say bird or bacterium. Third, often what the scoring guide is looking for is a connection between data and a process. If you show that connection, you'll usually be on the right track. You can do this. Life has thrown all of us a curve, but if you prepare yourself, you can hit that curveball right out of the park. Just put the time in.
There are two ways you can get access to the practice FRQs that I have for you on my Biomania app and on learn-biology.com. First, download the Biomania app. It has hundreds of multiple choice questions, flashcards, and FRQs that'll help you get ready for the AP Bio exam. In fact, the question we just discussed comes from one of the FRQs on my app. Think about how well you do on the AP exam if you knew the answers to all of those questions. The download is free and in-app purchase for $6.99 unlocks all the content. Second, subscribe to my website, learn-biology.com. For $29.95, you get access to an entire interactive biology course with tutorials teaching you all the AP Bio content you need to know. Plus, you get quizzes, flashcards, and practice FRQs. Please leave me comments telling me what questions you have. If you do that soon, I might have time to make a video with the answer. And also, please like this video, tell your friends about it. Biomania, learn-biology.com. For AP Bio Review, they're the bomb. Interaction's gonna help you learn and get you to that four or five you wanna earn. Mitosis, chromosomal ride in a pro-meta anatelophase divide. Eukaryotes go from one cell to two. Mitosis, how cells renew.